Yo, what's going on boys? Welcome to another Prime Icon player review and today we've got a very special one, Essien. Now if EA don't fix the price ranges though, I might not be able to do an Icon a day because I'm still waiting for Raul, Kaka, Cruyff to come down, Henri, Max at 4 mil, please fix it. But anyway boys, Essien. Now as soon as I saw that he was going to be an Icon for FIFA 20, I was getting myself all excited because he has the stats to provide everything that I would want from a CDM. You know my style, aggressive. I need pace, I need someone that's physical, that can defend. And this guy is literally ticking all the boxes. And as I've used the middle version of Patrick Vieira, the baby and middle version of Sadorf, uh, Suzoko, Fabinho, Allen, like all of these CDMs on the game, I think today's review, I can really break it down and let you know what he's providing over all of these other players on the game. And with Suzoko, by the way, he does feel like a nice little upgrade, like the pace difference, uh, on the ball may be a little bit better and the defending was very good. Like he's a very, very nice card, but 250,000, I, you know what? I don't even think it's a bad price. I would probably recommend uh, going for a, a Suzoko as well. And in a few of the games I had Suzoko and Essien together, then I brought back Hullet and Essien, and I will speak about that partnership in a bit. But here we go, boys. I'm going to blur out the stats again, not to spoil if he scored any goals and how many games I've played uh, for now. But 2 million, uh, 4 star weak foot, which is very nice, and 3 star skill moves is fine for a CDM. High tie work rates. I don't mind that if he's going to be able to push on and score. Like the baby version that I had of Essien, he was pushing on and he didn't really have that finish, and that's what was um, a little bit annoying to me. But with his attributes, 87 acceleration, 80 for sprint speed. I've added the engine camera style to that as well, just to bump it up even more. The shooting stats aren't actually that bad. Finishing 68, I mean, if you want to add a little bit, you can change the camera style. The passing, that's what I wanted to focus on, bring up that vision, and also the dribbling. The agility upgrade, dribbling upgrade, and then you look at the defending and physical stats. That is a scary looking player. And Essien, how did he play? Let's get into the clips. Let's go, hallelujah. Five bar, oh, four bar, five bar. I did see that. Here we go though. Thank God, is it gonna feel like that in game? First match, technically, the first match. All right, that's meta, I like it. I like it a lot. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, he's made a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now build it up. He's there, he's there, drag back. Essien, oh, Christ, he hit that hard. Sorry, right, I'll get him there. No, it's gone completely the opposite way, that's fine. That's fine. Del Gleish inside the box. GG. Oh, no, don't leave. I've only got one game left then with Suzoko. Second game. It's all about Essien. Ignore Suzoko for now. That's a nice squad. Oh, inform Coutinho that I never used. But I liked his first inform. Essien speed. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Oh, Del Gleish, come on. I've got to be holding on to that properly. And again. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My God, he's a machine. No, that is absolutely ridiculous. A little chip. Oh, no. Essien. He deserves it. He started that off. Did you notice the speed difference between his, his player and mine? Essien wanted that. He charged past two players. Find him. I need to take it like a proper long shot, though. Not one where... And a dip again. Go on, bang it. No. Oh, that's what I worried about because they haven't given him like mad finishing. They've just given him the shot power, the long shots. But yeah, test. Oh, he's on side as well. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. No, it's not. Okay. Yes. Go. Yes. Del Gleish. That power. Wow, he should have scored. Mm, he should have scored that. Suarez versus Rio. Bring out the keeper. Go back in. Oh, Rio Ferdinand with a clutch tackle. Let's go. That was terrible. I should have had him on the edge. I've lost all composure. That's it. Make that run on. Find him in the middle. Del Gleish, get back on side. Good enough positioning. Oh, the turns. Oh, I couldn't get the shot out. It's backs against the wall defending. That's what's happening. Then belly. Nay, oh, that first time. There we go. It was coming. Too much pressure. And Kenny Dalgleish will not be denied. Essien, Essien. Get into the get into the field. I said I've done a one-two. He's coming. Essien. Oh, on the volley. 
God damn. Essien. That is a nasty finish with his left foot. Oh, wow. On the volley as well, with that low finishing. I feel like if I didn't hit it on the volley, it probably wouldn't have gone in. Oh, Suzuko. Oh, I like this CDM pairing, I do. Yeah, those two together. Oh, he's here again. He wants another one, boys. That acceleration. Ooh. That acceleration that he's got. It is explosive. You don't expect it. You're like, if you're defending against that, all of a sudden, some center mid is just charged. It's Hullet. Faster than Hullet, it seems. It feels like that anyway. All right. It's going to say I've played like five, six games. No, people are quitting. That's what's happening right now. And that is a nice squad. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Overpowered players. I need to just check to see how he feels on the ball. He just wants to, ex like, the physical, man. The strength. The phys even when I've screwed up there, and he still bounced off players. He's so aggressive. That's what you need in the heart of your midfield. You don't need a Frankie de Jong, although he's quite good. Essien. Oh. oh I was, was going to play that in the middle. Oh, you don't want to do that. Sloppy pass. This guy's just going to mop it up. Yes. Power. Oh, you dare. Got denied. Too many blocks. I'll just do that with Hullet if I can actually select him. Nice. Rio, man. How many tackles are you putting in this game? Nilla, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop that ball. Little chip. Essien, bully him. Yes, bully him, bully him, bully him. Good bully him. No, get it. Yes, Essien. Oh. Yo, he's battling, though. He is a warrior. Well, defensively. I don't know if I need that. I just need to take my time in the attack. Trying to play like too fast. Oh, I'll take that though. I'm on side. Put that flag down. Do a little cross. I'll take it. Neymar of all people. Flying through the air. Hitting hope. Quick one too with, with that other guy. Del Gleesh. Oh my God, that turn. Whoa. Okay. Jesus. Oh, I didn't see that yesterday from him. I tried to do a drag back, but it didn't work. He just did that. That was sharp. Okay. Oh, whoa. whoa. Dry back. Find him again. Dry back. The control. Oh. Oh, that deserved a goal. Oh, I'm actually impressed with the way he feels on the ball. To create that chance and then Del Gleesh to get that nice little shot out. Go on. Boom. 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 Finish. Oh, God. Nearly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, nearly. What? No, no, that's actually worked. I've just completely missed the ball, and somehow it turned into the best tackle. Neymar OP. Welcome back, Neymar. But the star player. That man right there. He's so good. Whoa, this is serious. Michael Essien is an absolute warrior. With this chem style boost, if it really is giving him those extra stats to his acceleration and sprint speed, he is genuinely one of the fastest CDMs on the game. And as expected, he's got 85 pace on his face stats. So in game with these icons, they always get given like this weird hidden boost. And I'm feeling that right now. One thing that I really love about the card is obviously the pace, but the defensive awareness. When I'm losing the ball in the attacking areas and my opponent is quickly trying to rush and play into the midfield that man's there to mop up the loose balls and then as soon as he's on the ball and you want to start jetting my god like he is so goddamn quick like they, they go into him and then I just like flick the stick or I'm just using maybe a bit of the strafe dribble and that's something that I was really impressed with with Essien is his control on the ball like it didn't really suggest oh by the way I've played seven games and I got four goals Hey, that's not bad for a CDM, but I wasn't trying to force it into the play for him to score goals. I was just wanting to see what he could really do on the ball. Was it good enough? And I've got to say, I had no issues at all. I'm, I'm quite surprised with the way he did feel looking at those stats like 75 agility, 78 dribbling. He was good enough to actually beat pass players as well as avoiding being tackled with the strafe dribbling. So I can't really say anything bad about how he feels obviously he's no frankie de jong from barca but he is a very very good cdm 
uh, to use. His passing as well, that's something that did impress me. It says that he's got low curve and quite poor vision, but these intelligent like reverse through balls, uh, over the top passes from him, I thought that his passing game was pretty solid. And as you can see, he's got 91 short pass and 86 long pass. So that's obviously playing quite a big part in his game. And his shooting, well, you saw some of those shots. Um, he's gonna be like inconsistent, but then this guy is going to be capable of scoring bangers as well. So it, you just got to weigh it up. But it's a CDM. You don't expect them to be uh, clinical. If you want someone that's going to be able to score you a ton of goals, uh, then go and get yourself Hullet. But this is the thing, right? Comparing Essien to Patrick Vieira, Hullet, Suzoka, all of these players, this guy is going to cost you uh, 4.6 million or 5 million, however much his prime is these days. But that's the middle version. Uh, Essien, 2 million. I think that's way too cheap. Uh, I know I've bought him for 2 million and it seems like I'm trying to up his price. It's not true. I'm just being truthful because I want to buy him on the RTG. So what's the point of me sitting here saying, oh yeah, he's worth 3 million? The way he plays in game, he feels like a cheat code. And if I'm being totally honest with you boys, I've used the middle version of Patrick Vieira and he is very, very good. Nothing really won't wrong with Vieira. But there is something about Essien that was just getting involved in the defensive player a lot more than Patrick Vieira. Could be his pace, the defensive awareness. I don't know, but it, I just felt so much more comfortable with someone like him alongside like a Hullet and a Suzoko. Like that was disgusting. Him, like it doesn't even make any difference. There's so much pace. Suzoko is very good. And I think I did say that at the start of the video. 250,000, why not? Like may as well unlock him. I don't think I'm gonna do him on this account or the RTG. I can't really afford it. And I wanna use Essien anyway. And is he better than Essien? Hell no, he's not. He's nowhere near the level of this guy. Trust, if you've got 2 million, you're not going to be disappointed with this card. He is outrageously good. Anything else that I've missed? I mean, the strength of stamina is just... You have to play with Essien to, to get a feel. Like, he, he, he will surprise you. Very, very, very quick in game. You saw one of the clips anyway where I tackled and then I was just like trying to chase my opponent. He was like retreating back into his half and Essien just ran past two. Like there was no catch up speed on the game. Um, anything else that I can praise about him? He's just one of the best CDMs that I've used. And if I've got to like compare him to, let's say, a Rud Hullet, Hullet obviously uh, offers more going forward, but when it comes to breaking up the play, you're gonna get a lot more consistency with Essien. And if you partner these two together, that is a, oh, that's, a that, that's not fair. It's straight up, that's not fair. You've got that kind of pace on Hullet with decent defending. He's always been a good defender because of his height and, and physical stats. And then you've got Essien with those. For 2 million, he should be about 2.5 plus, 3 million, I think. 2.7 is a fair price for how he plays in game. Not everyone should have an Essium because it just ruins everyone else's experience. And it's as simple as that. 2 million, too cheap. I don't know what he's going to be, but is he worth it? Yes, he is. My favorite CDM so far on the game. This is my favorite CDM. Simple as that. Favorite CDM. I'm going to get him on the RTG one day. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.